Welcome to Computer Science 320 2015 Winter 1's Midterm 1 Practice Problems. We're on to the third part of Problem 2, and finally we get to know why it said right up at the top that 2 to the n means 2 to the n. Well, 2 caret n means 2 to the n, and that's because we've got 2 to the n right here. So when we hit that, we're just talking about 2 to the n. Now this little piece of code tells us that we're given an array A of length n of integers. So our n this time is the length of the array that's input. And we start out with some variable called mindiff being equal to infinity. And then we loop over i from 0 up to 2 to the n minus 1. We let in sum another variable, b0, and out sum b0. And then we let j range from 0 to n minus 1. And if the jth bit of i is 1, then we increase in sum by a to the j. Otherwise, we increase out sum by a of j. And then we let this diff be the absolute value of in sum minus out sum. And if this diff is less than min diff, we're supposed to set min diff to this diff. And finally, we're out of that loop. That loop was most of the code. And we return min diff. So let's start labeling how long various lines take. This takes constant time. This takes constant time. This takes constant time. Uh, all of this takes constant time. We're just checking if the jth bit of i is 1. We can do that with bit shifting operations, and we'll just assume it takes constant time. Increasing in sum by a of j, that should take constant time. Ditto for increasing out sum by a of j, that's just addition. Okay, let this diff be the absolute value of in sum minus out sum. Again, those are just arithmetic operations. And finally, we do a comparison, and if the comparison comes back true, we change min diff. That's also constant time. And finally, returning min diff is constant time. So everything's constant time except for we have two loops that we need to think about. Maintenance on those two loops is also going to take constant time as far as we're concerned. You might in general want 2 to the n to take more than constant time to compute because it produces a really big number. The number of bits required to represent 2 to the n is actually n bits. But we're going to make simple assumptions here and just say we can do 2 to the n in constant time. So loop maintenance on both of these loops, which are classic counting loops, for loops, they're both going to take constant time. They're just counting from 0 up to 2 to the n minus 1, counting from 0 to n minus 1. So maintenance takes constant time. How many durations do they go? Well, this inner loop here, it goes n minus 1 iterations. And that's really nice. That means it's not dependent on i, which is good. This outer loop, it goes 2 to the n minus 1 iterations, 2 to the n minus 1 iterations. And the body of the loop takes constant time. Now, there's constant time that I'm going to ignore here. I mean, maybe I should say the body of this outer loop takes 1 plus however long this inner loop takes, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus however long this inner loop takes. But the inner loop takes more than constant time, so it's going to dominate the constant time contributions of these bracketing lines anyway. So I'm just going to pretend that all that matters is the inner loop here and that all the time taken in the inner loop is constant time. So we end up, for the whole loop, taking time that is 2 to the n minus 1, times n minus 1, times 1, for the amount of time it takes for the inner body here. And that's just going to be n times 2 to the n minus, no first outside, inside, last here, so minus n minus 2 to the n, and then plus 1. This is a low order term. This is a low order term. And this is also a low order term. Multiplying 2 to the n by n, that's multiplying it by more than a constant. That grows faster than 2 to the n. It's easy to see that if we take the ratio between them. What's n to the 2 to the n divided by 2 to the n? Well, those 2 to the n's are going to cancel, and the ratio is n. So that ratio is going to grow and grow and grow, which means the top asymptotically dominates the bottom. And that means that 2 to the n is also a low order term. Big as it is, it's a low order term compared to n times 2 to the n. So overall here, we've got a runtime of theta n 
times 2 to the n, which is a really fast-growing function. So hopefully we do not have to run this on a very large array. And that completes our problem. And that also completes problem 2. Next we will work on problem 3.